and welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming and today we are going to have a look at three different games for Windows 10 Mobile again and that will be Emoji Sweeper, um, Excavate Diamond and Bio Zero. My name is Gerald, as always I've got a couple of different things with me which are of course some kind of a Bluetooth mouse, this one in this case. We are going to use a Fordable keyboard which is this one to have all the keyboard inputs and stuff like that and in general there would be the Xbox One as a wireless controller but we're not going to use this one for now and keep it at the side because none of the games is really supporting it in a great way so this is staying at the side. Um, other than that of course the Numen 950 XL which is this one is still my companion here for gaming at least it's not my daily driver anymore but it's for uh, the, the gaming stuff and also on, on my big screen here I sometimes use it uh, still and uh, yeah that is what we are going to do at the moment and uh, of course this one is uh, connected with a USB-C connected to the display dock at the side the display dock at the side is connected to the TV by an HDMI uh, adapter or cable and like that we can get this desktop like experience which is created by the smartphone to the big screen and use for instance all the different input devices I already showed you to work with it. If you want to know more about all this have a look at the corner upstairs a couple of other videos where I'm going to talk about it more in depth. And other than that let's start with the first game which is Emoji Sweeper or uh, yeah, Mind Sweeper more or less. Um, in the end it's really a Mind Sweeper clone. Um, very very equal at least. All that has been changed in this case is more or less um, a little bit of the look if you can see uh, it here. Um, as you can see we have this little icon there which is of course an emoji. Okay, it's called Emoji Sweeper so it has to be that way. And um, up there there is a little icon, we can click on that and as you can see we have a couple of different infos. We can use native emojis or Temui emojis and um, yeah, here are a couple of different let's say the bad guys in the game, so uh, what can you find there and how should it look. If you want to change that you can just use the other icon sets more or less and restart the game for instance. And after that you are just going to start and yeah, play Minesweeper in the end. So if we click on this, um, of course all of you should already know this, I already lost this, probably, not sure at the moment. Oh no! Um, I think it's fine to have all these little um, yeah, treaties there. Um, in the end what we want to do is now you want to find all the different mines in this case. And as you can see um, there are numbers next to the mines. So in the end if there is some kind of a number like 1, then you already know that one of the fields which is lying next to, the, to this one is a bomb. And in this case we already know this has to be a bomb because uh, one yeah, all the other ones around that are bombs and if you have a look at this, this probably isn't a bomb because otherwise that uh, part here should have a 2 in it or a 2 in it because um, then it would be next to this one and next to this one. But since this is there and it's next to this one and otherwise there's no uh, other option for a bomb, we already know this isn't a bomb. Okay. And probably this isn't a bomb neither. Yeah, um, was very simple to see because this is a bomb. This one has only one, oh, one next to it, so this can't be a bomb. And like this, you want to go through this. Of course, you avoid bombs because bombs are going to let you die. Very, very simple. And uh, in the end, all you want to do is find everything but the bombs. You can see ten bombs are there, and as you can see, we have still a couple of different options here. This for instance is a bomb, this is a bomb too of course and um, yeah so we can have a look at this and see what is going on and probably one of these isn't a bomb neither, I think this one. Okay and now let's have a look here. Probably all of these are bombs. I'm not sure at the moment, but it could be. This has to be one. This might not be one. Yeah, this is not one. Oh, <laughs> okay. And now we already know everything that is lying next to that is a bomb too. So probably 
Yes, this is undefined. And now we more or less know that everything else has to be a bump, right? Give me one second. Yeah, I, I think so. These all bombs, otherwise there wouldn't be a 4. This has to be a bomb too, because otherwise the 2 and the 1 wouldn't be. This one is clear and this 2, because the 2 is there, and so each of them has to be a bomb. This one is a bomb, this one has to be a bomb. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is a bomb, so if you are ready, click on this icon in general. Hmm. Okay, I really don't know how to finish it, but at the end we know that everything we found there was uh, was fine and you won the game. Um, if you know how to finish it, I thought I had to click on this, but this seems to be just a restart of everything. So um, in the end you see you have a couple of moves then and you have a time and like this you can play this. But I'm still not sure how to really finalize the game, but whatever. This is Minesweeper, you all know about Minesweeper, so just try it out. And if you like Minesweeper, it's a great addition in this case, because you can play it, of course, on your smartphone. And if you want to, you can play it on your PC too, if you are missing Minesweeper from the Windows today. I don't think that, that Windows is bringing Minesweeper with it nowadays, right? I'm not sure about this, I didn't search for it for a very long time, but whatever. Um, so let's have a look at the second game. The second game is called Excavate Diamond. Um, it's a very, very simple game with very great graphics, I would say. Um, so let's start it. I'm going to my own apps list here. And as you can see, there it is, Excavate Diamond. And um, yeah, in the end, what this is, is just a, yeah, a Switch game, more or less. So you, you will play something like yeah, not exactly like uh, like uh, Candy Crush or something, but close to it, you know, that kind of game where you're really just uh, trying to move things around. And uh, the great thing about this game is how it looks, I would say. So uh, in the end, there are a couple of different options. You can see them here, um, like soundtrack on, off and stuff like that. And you can get rid of this open it up or just close it down, whatever you want. I deactivated vibration because I really don't like this, especially if I'm in continuum. It's just taking the, the juice of your battery away. And um, in the end, so we don't really need that. And there are a couple of different other things, but nothing too special. So we can just close this and go and play one of the games here. So in the end, what this is all about is really, you have a high score. Uh, you are getting a new one, of course, and you have a time limiter. And now you're going to play and just do the normal thing. Um, interesting about this game, it looks nice. So all the different uh, different diamonds and, and other gems here are, gems, are very, very yeah, nicely drawn or whatever it is. And I really like the optics of it. And um, in the end, what this is, of course, doing is I have to click both of the bag, the javelins to switch places with them. So I'm not swiping or something, swiping does nothing. And you are really going to click on this to really change the different places. Um, there are a couple of different things like combos. I didn't find power-ups at the moment, so it's a very simple game of this kind. Um, but uh, in the end, you really just want to increase your high score all over again with yeah those nice little yeah, crystallines, whatever that is, a crystallized form of something, I'm not sure, um, because, what is this, maybe an obsolete or something like that, but uh, I'm really not sure about everything else here. So, um, in the end, if you like these kind of, of switching games and stuff like that, do that. Um, all you can do here is more or less uh, play against the, uh, the clock in this case, it's yeah, nice and simple. I would recommend the developer to increase the speed at least and yeah, maybe add another functionality here and there, but um, please increase the speed of the animation because it's a little bit too slow for me to click. Wait, wait, and now I can click again. 
Um, this is just a little bit, yeah, making it feel a little slow in my opinion. If you like that, because you are, for instance, at a vacation day or something and you want to be slow and stuff like that and just, yeah, more quiet feeling, you know, um, then this might be fine. Otherwise, you might want a faster mode with fast animations and stuff like that if you want to play this game. Um, other than that, I don't have to say much about this game because it's really a simple one. But if you like this kind and you like the optics of it, for instance, the design maybe, then this might be one for you. Okay, and so we are going to have a look at the third and last game. And this one is for the retro gamers or, uh, around you or, or under you, whatever. Um, under you, sorry. Um, so the guys who really like to uh, play retro games is Bio Zero. Um, I'm going to turn around for this because it's a little bit faster than all the other stuff I showed you before. Um, but the graphics are very, very limited. So somehow, really something like a, a yeah, the opposite of the last game we played there. Yeah? And um, in the end, what we can do here is uh, we can play Bio, Buio, Zero, I'm not sure. Um, this one. And as you can see, it's very, very old game, but yeah, nicely ported somehow, so you can really easily play it and, and it's fine. As you can see, you have the, the boat down there, and for some reasons, other boats are trying to swim you over or something. And what you are going to do here, you are going to use your mouse button to navigate around. So as you can see, the, the ship is always standing or staying where my mouse button is. I can fire up, so something like in yeah, Invaders or something like style and uh, can shoot there. What you already can see, there is this opening which is moving up in the middle of the top there at this point. And there the different enemies are going to be spawn and they are just going to go onto some kind of a diagonally uh, yeah, course and trying to overrun you. And there are a couple of different things which are going to change here. As you can see, with time the area is getting smaller, the enemy ships are getting faster and there are more of them. The good thing is the death condition is not that the ships are going to hit the ground or something, but uh, they shouldn't hit you in the end and you should kill a couple or many of them at least. So they can't do that. As you can see that oh, one got me. And in the end um, I don't know if they are going to spawn spawn from the bottom too, probably. Probably that's going to happen too. And of course, the biggest problem for you is that it takes a couple of different... Yeah, not seconds or something, maybe seconds, till you can fight or fire again. So um, I'm just using my mouse here, of course. And um, in the end, the ships are going to run you over after a while. And then, if you played it for a couple of, of seconds, whatever, the ships are going to be faster. It's going to lower down a little bit more. And you will have to fight faster ships. Why uh, there are ships playing this way in me? I, I'm not sure. Is this some kind of a gag or a joke about spaceships? I'm not sure. Um, anyway, that joke. And so doesn't really matter but you can see it's getting faster and faster and much more hard to do and after a while of course if you died a lot like I did in this case then you have a high score this is a new high score for me now and um, yeah you lost the game and you have to restart the game this is more or less what this game is all about it's yeah, much faster than the other ones and it's getting harder and harder, especially if you are lower in the in the height here. So yeah, imagine this and play this. This is pretty hard to, to uh, get it done then. And uh, with even faster uh, kind of, of boats flying around there. But in the end, if you like retro games, this one is something for you, so try it out. 
And this is more or less the end of the episode. I hope you had fun with it. If you had it, please don't forget to, uh, to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you didn't, and tell them now to the channel. And of course, if you have any kind of questions, comments, whatever, put them down below into the commentary section. Other than that, thank you for watching. See you in the next episode and bye. Bye.